Hi, welcome to another Cajun toy review and today we're going to be looking at Luke Crate's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles first box. There's going to be uh, four of these with an extra figure at the end. Each one is a different theme. So we have a, a movie theme, a video game theme one, um, car the comic theme one, the cartoon series one, and then the bonus figure, Scrag. This is the first one. This is the movie theme one. Uh, it comes with a Danny figure from the first movie. And I don't know what else is in this box. So that's going to be really exciting. Uh, this box has not been opened yet. So this is going to be unboxing uh, and review. So looking forward to it. Very excited about it. So let's get underway. So let's see, first thing we have in this box is a shirt, and this is um, bright, extremely bright yellow uh, Ninja Turtle shirt. Uh, this would be really good for when I've got to pick up trash on the highway for my community service. Uh, it's a long sleeve. Um, on the back, we got that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. Um, well logo I say from the movie but uh yeah okay well all right that's interesting all right all right oh, oh okay all right and next we have these two pins and it's a, a picture uh, Raphael from the movie and a Casey Jones from the movie uh these are some pretty heavy pins man you get your slingshot and you got some deadly deadly projectiles right here okay uh, then we have what is this <laughs> uh, it's a coaster I, I'm assuming I'm gonna open this up yeah these are some coasters and uh so that original Mirage Turtles right there, pretty awesome. And then uh, I zoomed in Shredder, could have zoomed back a little bit, a little bit on that Shredder a little bit, you know, but uh, yeah, some, some coasters for that. Go ahead and just, this episode brought to you by the sun, you know. Um, all right, move that out of the way. What else we got in here? I think that might be coming to an end and then we have um oh basically this is just a little guide of what we came in there so casey Raphael pin set exclusive uh coaster set which turtle that and then this uh teenage mutant Ninja turtles long sleeve t-shirt and then we got our danny pendleton pendleton figure with accessories so let's move this aside and we're going to take a look at our danny So standard, the box we pretty much seen for some of these other NECA turtle figures, the single ones that like from GameStop and such. Um, good likeness of the actor, I couldn't tell you his name. But uh, two heads, comes with the headphones, stuff like that. Uh, it's got that uh, Sid Vicious t-shirt on there. On the side, got uh, product shots of him. Uh, looking confused, and then a shot of him standing. And then, there we go, his headphones. Product shots on the back with a little bit of Read Me. And uh, not much about him, but basically, uh, I think it's a reader from the film. Now you can catch America's favorite green teens in a first live action blockbuster film. After wading the puddle of radioactive waste, these radical reptiles are transformed into the New York City's greatest fighting quartet. Their biggest foes are the Foot Clan, who recruit lost kids, and young Danny is of the street has to join their organist in the various gangs I'm going to talk today. This highly detailed action figure is almost six inches tall and features 20 points of articulation and includes alternate head and cassette player accessories. And a shot of our turtles, which we actually reviewed on this channel. Uh, there's people who made it in the back, so not much else in there. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this figure. 
Alright, so we're looking at our Danny figure from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. And uh, this is a really nicely detailed figure. This, uh, a lot of little details in here really, really impressed me. Uh, I think the headphone accessories is really awesome. It's uh, one of the cooler accessories I've seen in the, for a figure in a long, long time. Um, man, his shoes just are out of this world like detailed. Like, they look freaking awesome. Um, and I just think there's a, there's a lot of good things here. Uh, is it perfect? Eh, no. Um, but is it, if you're a fan of the film, is it is it awesome to have this guy? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I hope we see a, a tattoo soon or something. Else. I'm trying to think of anybody else really we need. Um, you know, but uh, if you're unfamiliar with this character, if you haven't seen the original Ninja Turtles movie, uh, Danny is basically April Charles's, April's boss, Charles' son. And, uh, he is actually very important to the story because he uh, winds up joining the Foot Clan, uh, which is what they're doing. They basically take use off the street. And uh, Danny also is aware that the Ninja Turtles are at April's apartment and uh, so forth. And basically, uh, he has Splinter. He is the cause of their problems because he basically tells Shredder about knowing about the Turtles and uh, basically puts everything in the motion anyway and uh redeems himself by uh helping save Splinter and stuff at the end but yeah um and we don't see him again after this uh, you know one time character anyway so uh f to get a figure at this guy is uh it's pretty neat and uh it's gonna be kind of an obscure kind of rare figure because of the way it comes it only comes through loot crate and the prices on ebay can already tell you that so uh is it worth the price of the crate it depends on you know on the collector uh, if you're collecting all the, the movie figures and stuff like that, then yeah, absolutely. This guy's pretty cool. I think it's a cool figure. So, let's take a look at him. Alright, so our Danny figure comes with uh, basically one accessory. He comes with his Walkman, uh, which is also a part in the movie. His father asks him where he got it, and you know he puts it on to kind of ignore him. Um, there's a lot of cool detail on this cassette player. You can kind of see that there's a tape in there. Uh, you kind of see the line work where it would open. Uh, there's no buttons or anything on the side. On the back, you have this kind of, I guess, play stop. I'm not really sure the purpose of the arrows. But uh, it's got this soft plastic uh, cord that kind of comes up. And then we get the soft ear. And uh, it basically fits on his head really easily. And you just kind of like push it on his ears. And for the most part, it stays in place. But it's pretty cool. And. Uh, I wouldn't try to put it on like the turtle's head. I don't know. It might stretch too much on there. Because, uh, I like that. You call this music? So, yeah. It's a cool accessory. I think it's really neat. Uh, they pulled it off because, I don't know, I, I was kind of like, what does he come with? This, what kind of stuff does this character come with? With some of these movie, like, real characters, like... You know, what do they come with? April, they nailed it with the jacket and the purse and the, the sigh. Uh, but for him, I mean, there was really, that was about it. And then the alternate head's a good choice. And speaking of, then he comes with an alternate head, which has, uh, where he has basically been uh, made into a foot soldier, or, well, a foot soldier in training. And he's got that, uh, the Foot Clan headband on. And uh, that face is like, he just walked in and saw Splinter getting his ass beat or something like that. But it's, uh, it's got the kind of shocked looking face on there. Uh, you can see some teeth in there, so I think the detail on it is actually pretty good. Uh, the detail on the head by itself is actually pretty good. There's a lot of good line work in the hair, and of course with the headband, there's a lot of good paint in there, paint applications in there. You can see like the black and stuff in there, with the shadowing. Uh, you can see the little foot clan so uh, foot symbol in there. It's a little kanji symbol. Can't really make it out too well, but it looks really good. Looking at the Danny figure by itself, um, we'll start with the bottom, I guess. Uh, his shoes. Look at these shoes. These, I think, these are probably hands down the best sneakers I've ever seen on a figure. Like, you can see the little air pocket on the shoes. You got the little vents right here. You can see all the individual laces on it, the textures on everything on it. It's got peg holes on the bottom. You can even see they got socks in there. That's just, man, these are these are some nice looking shoes. 
uh, let's see, like strap and just the cushions on it. And uh, you know, I had some shoes that looked just like this when I was younger. These just look, this looks awesome. The jeans also look really, really good. I do like where the knee joint is kind of hidden behind that, like that, uh, for the leg. This isn't a figure you're going to get into any crazy dynamic poses, but I do like that joint right there. And then on the other side, we got this little stitching on his pants. But I love the color of it with the wash on the jeans. It looks really, really, really good. Uh, he's got that Sid Vicious shirt on there. You can actually read some of the writing on there. Uh, the end is near. Uh, I can't read much else. How the, I don't know. But it looks really cool. The back looks like, you know, it's dirty looking. Kind of, I know it's supposed to be like a stone. I mean, uh, acid wash, like kind of like a tie-dye shirt, but it looks good. Uh, that print on that is freaking nuts. And then the sleeves, a little odd. You know, I'm not, I understand that's how they have to make it. It just looks a little weird with a little gap right there. But that's only when you're like really looking at it up close. His arms... Probably my least favorite part about this figure. Uh, I know, like, uh, it's for necking with their arms, but it just looks a little strange. I don't care for the elbow joints at all. Um, it just looks really odd. Unless you have it kind of straight on, like that. Uh, anything else looks a little weird to me. So, yeah, you gotta kind of line up that seam. And then his face for this version of him without the headband it looks good very very blue eyes um, you don't see his teeth on this one but I love the hair hair looks really really good uh, we got that wash in there and everything so they give it a lot of detail alright for uh, articulation Danny can look down about this much Danny can look up uh, not very much at all he's got a little bit of head tilt it's just on that little single and of course rotation uh, forearm rotation, there is rotation at the elbow, uh, single jointed elbow, there is wrist flex on there. Um, both of his hands are kind of gripping hands, they bend really easily, so no problem at all to hold that Walkman on him like that. Uh, there's no ab crunch or anything on this guy. Feels like there's something in there, but he ain't moving really much with that, uh, tunic. Um legs really you're not gonna split too much either with uh, the shirt blocking a lot of it there is no thigh oh there's wait is there a thigh cut no that's just the rotation um you do have that single jointed knee you get a little bit of, yeah you can rotate it it's gonna look really ridiculous like uh, um and then we got that flex on the ankle on these amazing ass shoes That's that's our Danny figure. Uh, to scale him up with some of the turtles, we're gonna put him up with Mikey and Donatello, just so you can kind of see on scale how they look. This is a nice little figure. Uh, this is the first of the Loot Crate, and I'll be honest with you, I really bought the Loot Crates just for two figures, the comic ones, uh, the comic one and the cartoon one. So uh, I didn't really care for Armagon, and uh, I'm not really collecting the movie figures, um, and I'm not sure if I'm even gonna keep the Mutant Shredder. So this one, I wasn't expecting much, and uh, I'm I'm very impressed. I think it's they did a for what they're working with. I think they did a really good job. So um, you know, if you uh, if you if you're lucky and you got one, then yeah, awesome. Hope you like it. Um, but man, don't beat the scalpers. So uh, anyway, uh, if you like this video, leave a like. Check out other content. I will review all the other loot crates as they come in, um, and I do request. Mostly uh, Marvel, DC, some NECA, and uh, next month will be horror. I'll be doing horror figures uh, throughout the month, not not exclusively. But uh, if you have a NECA horror figure you'd like to see during that month, put in a request because uh, there's a good chance I'll either have it or I'll do it. So anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself.